All right, just got back from the range and uh, gonna talk about my chasing sub MOA 556 rounds that I loaded up. I loaded up three different charges on this trip, so we're gonna take a look at those. Here's a look at the rifle that I used to shoot this ammunition. This is a complete Palmetto State Armory 18 inch stainless steel barrel. It's got a rifle length gas system. It is a one to seven twist. It's got a Jerry Michalik muzzle brake on it. A Vortex 6.5 to 20 scope with the 50mm lens. Uh, this is actually going to be the dedicated scope for this rifle now. I did recently pick up an SWFA fixed 20 power for my Tika T3 if you've been watching through my other videos. But uh, yeah, the Vortex is staying on the AR, so I ended up painting it to match the rifle. And uh, let's talk about these groups. So first, let's go over the ingredients I was using for these reloads. Uh, using CCI number 400 small rifle primers. I bought a thousand of these and uh, I have a few of them left, so these will be appearing for the next while. Um, the bullets I was shooting are these Hornady 22 caliber 75 grain boat tail hollow points. I bought some of these in bulk as well, so these will be appearing for a while. Um, I did buy a pound of Reloader 15 a little while back. It was uh, one of the gunpowders available, and I knew that it would shoot these heavier bullets, so I decided to go ahead and try it out. I haven't been able to find anything that shoots super accurate out of it, so uh, I've dedicated some time to try and work up a load of this stuff since I have a full pound. And the brass I was using for this trip is Lake City 556. Uh, mixed years, but like you can see here, I got 150 to 200 pieces maybe. So uh, let's try and utilize what I have and see what we can come up with. So to give myself something to compare my results from this day against, I shot some rounds that I know shoot well. These were in Hornady brass, 24 grains of Varget. It is 223 brass, shooting the same bullets using the same primers. And that day I was able to shoot a pretty good group of this. This was only a three shot. So, center to center, looking 0.7 inches, about three quarters of an inch, 0.75. That's pretty good, especially out of a uh, bone stock AR-15. So that's what I'm going to compare the 5.56 rounds against for this day. So let's go ahead and take a look at 21 and a half grains of the Reloader 15 powder. I was shooting four shot groups here. Uh, the wind was on and off, it was kind of all over the place really unpredictable so if we drop the fourth shot that's 0.9 inches if we include the fourth shot oh, there we go about 1.6 inches not totally stoked on that that's pretty decent for the amount of wind I had this looks better going from 21 and a half grains of powder up to 22 grains two shot right next to each other and these made a ragged hole so there's actually four shots right in here so I don't feel that there's a flyer with these and just measure them on camera I measure center to center as best I can about 0.88 inches uh, that is pretty awesome I think I'm gonna load up a few more of these 22 rounds the only downside being is this is on the low side of the charge so uh, maybe not getting the velocities like the Varget powder that I'm using I did not shoot them over my chronograph this trip. It was too sunny outside at the time. Finally, 22 and a half grains. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look here. Just including three of the best. 0.9 inches. If we're gonna measure all four, one and a half. So nothing too great there. I'm liking the looks of this 22. Uh, someone on YouTube did suggest that I try some 24 grains. I believe he goes by the name Kaiser Mike. But uh, we have some really similar guns, so I'm excited to try and load something up that he's been working on and see how they look across our different guns, see if they uh, produce similar results. So, Mike, I'm going to take your advice, load up some 24s, some more of these 22s, see how they shoot, and... Uh, not a bad start. Um, pretty excited to be getting an inch with four shots, especially in seven to 10 mile an hour crosswinds that are going back and forth like crazy. It's a little windy out here today. I'm doing the uh, load testing with the
with the 556 five, brass uh, using Reloader 15 powder. This is the Chasing Sub MOA 556 five, series. So right now I'm shooting at 100 yards, just shooting paper. Uh, I got the 21 and a half grains of Reloader 15 loaded up with those 75 bullets. Let's go ahead and shoot a couple rounds. Oh yeah, I'd load it at four each of these. That group doesn't look too bad from here, and uh, we'll go and talk about those later on the table.